Yo, yo, what up, my beautiful dowdies? How is everyone doing today? I'm your host, Fao, and let's talk about Sparkle. Sparkle, the joker of Honkai Star Wars, you know, the trickster of this game, the goofball, the silly hippity hop that skips throughout the world and makes everyone's life more miserable, is getting a rerun, and it's a very fast rerun. And to me, her placement is just very weird, and I'm very uncertain if it's actually kind of like a worth it character for you to pick up. So in this video, we're gonna go over all the things what Sparkle brings to your account, and if she's a very worth it character, or if Hanka Staro is trying to bait you, trying to summon for this character. So let's get right into it. Is Sparkle still worth it in Honkai Star Rail? Sparkle is a very interesting Harmony unit. I think Sparkle is one of the more unique characters in the game. If not, maybe top three uniquest characters in the game. For me, she brings something that no other character does. And that is increase your max skill points. The maximum skill points that we have is five. And with Sparkle on the field or on the team, that increases to seven. And this is a very interesting and crazy thing to think about, right? She really just maximizes a game mechanic. That is just very interesting to me. And that's something considerable if you really struggle with skill points or you have high SP hungry team compositions. She will 100% be very valuable for that. However, we are in a meta right now where Sparkle is maybe a little bit awkward or has no spot. If you look at all the Acheron teams, Sparkle is a Harmony character. Acheron wants Nihility characters to really be supportive. Unless you have E2 Acheron, of course. But normally, Sparkle doesn't fit there. Then we have all the break teams. You know, Firefly, Bootail. Those are very meta right now. And yet again, those want break synergistic characters. We want Harmony units that have Super Break, like the Harmony Trailblazer, or Ron May that further enhances the break capabilities. Characters like Gallagher, you know, like we really want break synergistic characters normally, right? If, if you can afford it and if you have it on your account. So, of course, a Sparkle, if you have nothing else, maybe on a Firefly team, of course, would work with an advancement forward. You know, you could probably do some cool stuff like that Branya as well for like Boot Hill. However, it's not recommended. You know, you don't need it. Then we have the follow-up attack compositions. And in follow-up attack, normally you also don't really want to put the sparkle in there. You normally want follow-up synergistic characters. Topaz, Jade, Aventurine, Robin. You know, let, that really bring up the follow-up attack synergy. Sparkle could work in here, you know. If you have a hyper carry ducks ratio with maybe a Pela. And then you put a sparkle in there. Of course, it would work. But is it needed and recommended? No. And then we get to the hyper carry teams. And this is really where Sparkle prevails. So this is really her sweet spot. We have here the characters that most of the time are skill point hungry. And really want that crit rate, crit damage. So here she really shines. This, I have to say, right now the meta is a little bit not favored for hyper carry in a way. I think that characters like Dale, Jing Liu... All of them have a lot of value and you can still play them. You know, if you have a very well-built team around them, they still clear a lot of content and they probably will for a very long time. Compared to the other ones, they're of course weaker. And these are the teams that are really catered towards Firefly, especially the deal compositions, right? Zayla, I think Argenti also really benefits well from her. So these are the compositions that Sparkle really wants to be in. But these are the compositions that are not popular right now or a lot of people probably don't really build around or don't have, you know? It's probably a lot of people that don't have deal, that don't have Argenti. I think a good amount of people have Jing Liu, but Jing Liu is... I'd rather have Rania with Jing Liu, to be fair, me personally. So Sparkle is in a very awkward position. And I still wonder to this day, why did she get a rerun so quickly already, you know? Of course, Yun Lee came out. I do think that Yun Lee can utilize Sparkle really well. I think that the uh, Ting Yun Sparkle Ho Ho composition is very good for Yun Lee. I don't know, it's still a little bit awkward. I still think that Yun Lee is going to get a better support unit. I still think that there's going to be some sort of counter support. That's my opinion, you know, that might never be there or we might never get it. That's also not a reason why I think Clara is still getting a very big benefit from Yun Lee because we're gonna get that counter support along the way. But even though Yun Lee is in the game, I still don't think that Sparkle, for the overall value of someone's account, is that good right now. Now, if you are a specific main for a specific character, yet again, like that deal, Sparkle is almost like a must pull for you, right? If you really like Dale and you don't have Sparkle, you're missing out on the peanut butter to your jelly, you know? Like, you almost want to have Sparkle. Yes, Dale will work without Sparkle, but Sparkle just takes him to a whole nother level, right? And that's why this rerun is weird. When Ibibitilune got his re second rerun, 
then Sparkle was the new character after that, you know? And then they really were mean in a way, but they always do this Hoyoverse, where they always put banners back to back to back, where they are synergistic. Now, of course, Sparkle is probably that synergistic banner for Yun Li, but I'm gonna be honest, if you are pulling for Yun Li and you're pulling for Sparkle, that's a bit rough, right? We got that Run May Firefly banner, and now everyone is kind of low on tickets, most of us, most of the free-to-play players. And if you now all of a sudden invest in Yunli and Sparkle, it's a bit weird. And I think you're missing out on a lot of cool upcoming characters or very strong upcoming characters. If you're an Akron main, you want that Fox Boy, you know, JQ. Faye Xiao is coming up. I'm very excited to see how strong she's going to be. Ling Xia is going to be a very interesting sustainer, I think. So there's a lot of upcoming characters and also way more after that that are probably going to be way more interesting than a Yunli and Sparkle. Now, for fun, you know, people that just really like Yunli's playstyle, probably a Sparkle on that is going to be nice. But then you're all of a sudden again at zero tickets or you probably don't have enough tickets after Yunli in general, you know? So Sparkle is a very big choice for a lot of people. And I actually think that Sparkle is a bait right now. In this period of time, Sparkle is a character that I would not recommend if you do not have a certain amount of characters. And those characters are Dill, Zayla, Jing Yuan, and of course, Yun Li. Those four characters, I think, are the most valuable characters with Sparkle right now. And let's say you're a Jing Yuan fanatic, you know, having a Sparkle really takes him to the ne next level. There's a lot of characters that really benefit from that advancement forward and that current damage boosting and those extra skill points, you know? I think Sparkle's overall value really shines with those four right now in the game. That, that's really where she maximizes her capabilities and her damage. But still, overall, I don't think that Sparkle is very good for a lot of free-to-play players out here. I think a lot of free-to-play players were smart and pulled for Acheron and Firefly or for like playstyles like DOT or follow-up attack. And if you really have those playstyles on your account, Sparkle just doesn't fit there, you know? And I think that's why the overall value for Sparkle is a bait, you know? Like if you are pulling for Sparkle, unless... Dill is getting another rerun soon or something because we are back in Lofu. Do keep that in mind. There might be a Dill rerun. There might be another Jing Yuan rerun. And then having that Sparkle is very nice. And that is something to consider. And they might do that, you know? Sparkle is actually getting a rerun because there's so many valuable characters that want her that are going to be reruns coming up. And that is something to consider. And if you really, really like Dill or one of these characters, you know, then you can already maybe pick up this Sparkle and then save for the other characters so you have that combination, you know? That's something you can consider as well. But for the average player, and for the average player that doesn't really like that hyper carry or those specific characters, skip this character. Sparkle is not going to provide any value for you. She's very fun and very cool, you know? It's just a very interesting playstyle, you know, that extra skill points. Super interesting character. You can do a lot of cool stuff with her, but you do really want that cool team building and those good combinations. And if you don't really like those combinations, or you don't have anything to combine her with, then she's one of the worst characters to pick up. She's going to be always valuable in some sort of shape or form, you know. But I think Honka Staro is really turning into a game where you really need to pick and choose. We really have to pick and choose the characters that really function together and that have synergistic gameplay together. And if you do not do that, you're really going to shoot yourself in the foot right now. Imagine you really like follow-up attacks. And you pick up Ho-Ho instead of Aventurine. You pick up Ron May instead of Robin, you know? Like, you have to really stick to the plan. And you have to try to maximize the follow-up attack potential then. Same with DOT. If you are a, lo a DOT lover and you don't have Kafka Black Swan, then what are you doing, you know? That is really the way to go to play these compositions. And Honkai Star Wars is not an easy game, you know? If you really want to clear all the content in the game, then you really have to have the best team set up for that specific strategy that you love in the game whatever it's follow-up attack hyper carry dot debuffing break whatever it is stick to it you know and then you're going to have a very good time now i i own sparkle but i also own deal and i own zayla and i even own argenti which i like to use sparkle with as well i have a lot of characters that actually synergize really well with sparkle so that's why sparkle makes sense on my account and I do like skill point heavy team composition. I really like Dale. So if there's an upcoming skill point heavy team or something with skill point synergistic things, I have Sparkle for that. And I like those compositions. So, you know, that's why I pulled for Sparkle. So she makes sense on my account. And I really want you guys to think ahead. I want you guys to think, okay, if I pull for Sparkle, does it make sense? Now, of course, 
I always say pull for fun over anything else. If you really like Sparkle's design or character, because she is a very lovable character, you know, like her goofiness and her trickster things, you know, that's something that a lot of people might like. And I do think that her design is very good, you know, that, that always on stage and just trying to make people's life miserable. Her design also really speaks that. And Sparkle was a very popular character in the Honkai Star Wars community. So I do recommend if you really like Sparkle and you want to pull for Sparkle just to have her, that you should, of course, always pull the characters that you like and want. But if you really love Sparkle and Sparkle is your favorite character in the entire game, I do recommend then synergizing her with the, the upcoming characters or characters that really synergize with her. Then you should probably look for a DPS that really wants those skill points, you know? Then you go the reverse. Instead of trying for the main DPS and trying to find puzzle pieces for that, then go for Sparkle and then trying to find puzzle pieces for that, you know? To really maximize Sparkle's value. If Zayla is going to get a rerun again. And you really like Zayla as well on top of that. You know then do that combination instantly. So you get that value on your account. Stuff like that. And then you're just going to have an overall good run in Honkai Star Rail. Now I do think that we're going to get upcoming characters. That are going to get again that hyper carry role. Or that want maybe skill point friendly characters with them. And that's also something that Ioverse does really mean with. That they put Sparkle out right now. Thinking that she is a young Lee support and then all of a sudden we're going to get like an insane dps that is really skill point hungry or like what i said before that deal rerun you know so do keep that in mind and think ahead again if that is going to be something that you want sparkle is a very strong character and 100 percent will give a lot of value for your account if you have those specific characters or that playstyle, you know but if you are that acheron lover if you have that firefly that follow-up attack whatever it is then just skip this character. She's a gigabait. And I do think that the overall value that we're having right now are pick and choose characters. Yun Li, counter playstyle, you have to love it. If you don't care, skip her. Ho Ho, very energy friendly and attack percentage, very hyper carry or very DOT friendly. You know, if you don't like anything of that, skip her. JQ is very good for Acheron or any type of nihility debuffing, maybe for DOT still, you know. If you don't really want that or you don't, you're not really looking for that, skip him. Sparkle, same boat. If you don't like that hyper carry or skill point efficient playstyle, you don't need her, skip her. This patch is, you need to be very careful with the characters that you choose. If you really look for the most account value and the most dps on your account this is a very dangerous patch and if you are very reckless you can ruin your account very quickly if you are not planning ahead now link sha and fei shuao are looking like very valuable characters a hunt wind and a fire abundance i've been telling you guys this for many times new sustainer units are very welcome I and mean, i want more sustainers that bring more variety to the table also hunt hunt is a very lackluster path right now you know we only really have boot tail that really shines in this path dr ratio is also very good for follow-up attack and zayla of course still seems to play but i want something you know to skyrocket the hunt path to a whole nother level and i think face Shao is going to do that you know, there's a lot of valuable characters coming up so be very careful with the tickets that you are putting out on this character yes sparkle is good yes she will bring a lot of value for your account but you need to have synergistic characters with her or else she's not going to be that great for you. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Sparkle. If you're going to pull for Sparkle, if you already have Sparkle, what team compositions you put her with, you know. We can all help each other out here and I would love to hear you guys take some stories in the comments down below. If this video helped you out, you know, get a clearer sight on Sparkle or maybe this helped you make that final decision, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It means the world to me if you could do that. Make sure to join the Discord. We're trying to grow the community even further. And if you want to support the channel even further then become a member i love you all and i'll see everyone in the next video take care peace